Hey guys, it's Clive here, part of Strictly Locks brand, Zoo Spit. Doing a little bit of, doing a little, getting a little bit of work out here, you know. Trying to uh, motivate everybody. Everybody had to start somewhere, you know what I'm saying. I'm usually out here Sundays through Thursdays, uh, about seven o'clock, six o'clock. Summer's not gonna wait for you. Summer bodies aren't are, are made in the summertime. They're made in the winter. Come with just working out you got to eat right you got to sleep right you got it's, it's everything and mainly most of all is consistency and then this I'm a jog from hash to hash back and forth Just to continue to get everything loose. All right, it's your boy Strictly Zeus. I'm out here about to get a, a, a gasser series workout. This weather is usually on the field. It's what I usually do on the Mondays through Thursdays type routine. Um, I'm going to go in more into depth with that. I usually do this uh, routine to uh, kind of get my, my muscles warmed up, you know, before I go lift afterwards. So this is usually my cardio routine. I'm going to show you guys more in depth on what I do. Listen up the body. These are karaoke, modified karaoke. Very uh, important to to get a good warm up in, especially when it's cold like this. I was uh it started off um I used to be really skinny. I I went through every stage I've been and that's a, that's another thing that's different about me than a lot of other trainers. You got a lot of other trainers out here that were born. You know, they have abs since third grade. You know what I'm saying? They try to tell, you know, a big, you know, a bigger person how to, you know, lose weight and all that. I've been all three, all four stages. I've been the skinny guy, I've been the rip guy, I've been the fat guy, I've been a muscle big guy, then I've been the fit guy again. You know, I went to, I was, I was out of shape senior year of high school and uh, I wanted to play football in college. And I knew, I knew they had a conditioning test, and I knew I was out of shape. Losing about 60, 60 pounds within a year, within three months actually, and uh, came back, came back, had a football trial, ended up making it. I was like 265, got down to like 225. I, I'll, I'll kill myself to finish this before I go back home, feeling dead mentally because I couldn't get it done. But, um, right now, what I'm doing. It's just kind of doing a more extensive warm-up routine. You know, just jogging back from hash to hash, jogging back and forth. You guys can catch me doing this kind of workout Mondays through Thursdays before I leave. I usually do this though for about 30 minutes. Is this your main focus weekly? Yes, yes. Always, always try to make sure that I get my cardio in before. I uh, lift because a lot of people want to build size, but in order for you to build size, and your muscles have to be loose, and also a lot of people want to build definition. The only way to build definition is eating right and having a proper cardio. Yeah, man, it's you. You'll hear a lot of people saying, you know, it's it, it's real tough to keep up. I personally think if your mindset is there, you will find a way I to get it. Awkward done. times. I would do my homework during the day. Get my workouts in during the I nighttime. Did, uh, I worked out four times a day, and still was able to stay on, uh, stay have a 3.8 greatest GPA. me. You know, you gotta have the mindset where you want to be the greatest you, and be the best self, your best self. Why you can't? You know, why not be? You know, in shape while you're young. You know, what I'm saying, you wanna, you wanna take advantage of your youth years, and so you can pave the way to when you get older. Usually on Sunday, I do a little bit of something that's a little bit more extensive. It's on a track. Overall, and it was it was just mainly mindset. I started. I would I would get up at 4:25 for team workouts. Then we would go to meetings at like seven. Had class from eight to twelve. Go eat. Then we had meetings again at three. Had practice at four. Then. I would uh, I would run after practice again 
than going to the gym. We weren't allowed to work out, but I knew what I had to do to to be not the average. You know, I don't person. drink. I don't smoke. I'm not saying that's what you have to do. I'm just saying it's what I choose to do because I know how my body responds to certain things. If I, you know, did all the extracurricular, so I'm able to, you know, do extracurricular activities without, you know, at a sober mindset. You know, it's, it's good. You know, I have fun in life being sober. So. Main thing about your eating habits is you can't. I give. I'm really when I say I'm. I pay attention to detail. I mean I'm like really pay attention to detail. Like I don't. I give myself at least three hours before I lay down. Like lay down. Not lay down right after you guys got done eating. All that food is sitting on your stomach, and it's it's just sitting there. It's not digesting. It's sitting there and it's, it's building yeah, up. Body. Nine. You eat at one o'clock. Just make sure you're prepared to go to sleep. Pay attention five to detail. I eat. I don't eat white rice. That's a bodybuilding white rice. You can eat white rice. But I choose brown rice strictly because it has a lot more fiber and it's a lot more grainier. I don't fry any of my chicken. I don't eat fries, any of the fried foods. I grill and bake and roast I all my Gatorades and, and vitamin waters. They're hot. Those are high in sugar. You got to be prepared to like, and you got to work. You can't just drink those free willy nilly. You know, you got to, you have to be will, you know, be ready to work out right after those. Or you drink drinks like that, they're going to be sitting on you and they're also going to contribute to fat buildup. So, um, I drink a lot of water a day. I only eat twice you a day. You work out more, you don't get sick Your as your heart rate is used to being at a high rate. And you don't, you, 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 you find yourself uh, a lot healthier. You don't get sick as easy as, you know, you know the average person that's just, just like, you know, stagnant. You know, they asked me about, you know, I'm sure you guys heard about what the hell, you know, and all that. I've seen it before too. Um, like I said, it's all uh, choice is yours as long everything in moderation. If you feel like you want to go vegan and go vegetarian, then so be it. But as long as you're you're establishing healthy, because there's 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 unhealthy ways to be a vegetarian as well. Like vegetarians, they they put a lot of sauces and stuff on their food. Vegans, you know what I'm saying? It's like I eat, I'm I'll eat you know meat, but I only I eat chicken without you know the excess gravies and stuff like that there's there's clean ways to um to eat you know um the what the health is more about you know the processed foods and all that it's like i said you you can balance all that out with physical activity so your body's using it and getting rid of it you put more you put clean food in you use it and you get rid of it it's like a cycle it's all that's all it's a choice of yours i'm not i wouldn't you know i wouldn't i wouldn't either push it on you nor say not to you know become a vegan or vegetarian but i do stress the fact that you know eating healthy in general is a must if you want to get you know quality work out of your body and quality results all right you can follow me on instagram at jamaican underscore underscore zeus uh snapchat is jamaican underscore zeus 44 um, Clive Launcher, I have Facebook on Facebook. Um, all of those are uh, Strictly Fits uh, associated as well. So you can follow me on all three. Um, Facebook, you can see uh, some of the pictures on my Facebook page of you know where I started and, and where I ended and you know the, the process.